we will search out somebody uh, who res reflects the best values and capabilities and skills and who is committed to continuing to reform this institution and maintain the confidence of all Canadians. The search is now on for the next RCMP commissioner after current commissioner Brenda Lucky announced she intends to step down from the role next month. Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino couldn't say when a successor would be picked, but one anti-hate researcher says he hopes the next commissioner will do more to fight racism within the force. Sometimes that progress takes time, but that same, at the same perspective, I haven't seen any types of commitment statements or action plans or, or anything like that. Uh, so if they're out there, you know, that's always helpful to be mindful of. But I think those are ways you highlight that commitment. You know, awareness is one piece, but then commitment to action is always the second piece, too. Irfan Chowdhury says Lucky really didn't acquit herself well when she struggled to define systemic racism three years ago. But more critically, actual change was hard to see. I think, you know, the next leader needs to have a strong awareness of not only just what those barriers are, but also have commitments to act on those barriers, too reduce those systemic uh, barriers, um, you know, in due course? Well, I don't believe that uh, she uh, she made a dent. Retired RCMP officer Calvin Lawrence says he knows of current Mounties who have faced racism and seen little done about it. But Lawrence also had criticism of Lucky's relationship with politicians. While police are accountable to civilian officials, the 30-year police veteran says sometimes police leaders need to know when to push back. You have to be your own person. You make a decision, you stick to that decision. And if the government wants to fire you, if the government wants to punish you, then let them do it. But you're going to stick to your position in relation to policing. And this and this is uh, uh, very, uh, uh, this was shown in Nova Scotia uh, in relation to uh, naming the weapons that were used in the mass shooting. But Lawrence speculates it may have been the RCMP's decision not to ban the carotid control technique, sometimes called a chokehold or neck hold, that may have led to Lucky's decision to retire. The public safety minister's office said in January that clear directions were given to the RCMP to ban the move, but the hold remains in use. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.